we are with you in heart and in zip. So thank you very much. Councillors, you're most welcome. Thank you, man. You're most welcome. All the councillors, please, uh, you can stand up for recognition. You're most welcome. All our councillors from Dubaga, you're most welcome. Hadia, you're most welcome. Councillor Katab, you're most councillor. And then the, the, the whipping councillor is also here with us. You're all most welcome. To you, the media, you're most welcome. We are glad that we are here. Um, we are not going to take a lot of time because uh, we are out of what we are supposed to do. Uh, but you want to, I want to say just two words, and then I will invite the secretary again. We are very grateful to the leaders of the National Unity Platform as Basoga for always trusting us at this liberation, to this towards this liberation struggle. Basoga has been classified for a long time as the bedrock of poverty. And this poverty has has given us all the effects, the negative effects a region can have growing out of poverty. You one time had to sit as a country and fix a bigger problem in our side. We are not ashamed to talk about it because it is the regime that has put us there. Uh, Formally, uh, so, and there is a lot of force, Mr. President, in Busoga. There is a lot of blackmail in Busoga against National Unity Platform, against the leaders of the National Unity Platform, and that the National Unity Platform stands for. Because, for me, Mr. President, I have understood that we stand. Uh, for people power and we stand to liberate this country for equality, equity and fairness for all. And even those issues are doubted by our blackmailers. But the people of Busoga, we want to thank you, all of you wherever you are, who gave out these two days as public holidays to defeat the blackmail, to defeat the negative energy. You gave us hope for us who have been speaking for you, the Busoga, we were very excited. That is Geno Sauda Madada. I saw Geno Sauda Madada, Mr. President, riding from Jinja to Kamuli on a donkey. Probably she's part of the reasons we are stopped. So we as Vasoga and those, I want to speak on behalf of the leaders to the people of Busoga. You gave us more energy to stand for those issues that we are standing for. You gave us more energy. You showed us that you are listening to what we are telling you that our country, that our country needs the Mwanainchi to stand up and uplift themselves. To you, the people of Busoga, we are very grateful. We can promise you, the leaders from Busoga, we are going to do whatever it is necessary to always be at the forefront of liberating our country. Because once we are at the forefront, we are definitely sure that you, the people of Busoga, never you be minimized on sharing the national cake. If you look at our road infrastructure, if you look at our health system, if you look at even the education, Mr. President, all the schools, if you ever visited Namasagali, you would wonder, you would wonder, and Namasagali, the proprietor of Namasagali is still alive, but the school is dead. The person, so we are very grateful that the National Inter Platform has given us this platform. We are very grateful that we as leaders, you have supported us, and we promise that we will follow with loyalty, with loyalty, Mr. Secretary General, with the leaders of Soga. We will follow with loyalty the whims and directions of our party without any doubt or say from anybody. We will do that because you have manifested that you are behind us. Mr. President, let me ask uh, the Vasoga to come behind me and I say these words in Lusoga and then I will invite uh, the Secretary General. Mungane echotuchukole mbuangu. Abasoga mwide no, tuogere vigambo vino mlusoga. Zena msoku mkuba kwa kalumu anto lao na uundi wa mzindalo. Echo mtakoba anto msada atuese kutuikaikania. Swengere Mr. President Yankobi enti emiri moji mugemele kuledio na kari ya mawa alimu koti is actually broadcasting this press conference live. And even yesterday we were with them live. Baba TV was with us uh, uh, 
uh, live, I'm told, I'm not yet sure. Yes, live, and they're still with us now, live. We are very grateful. Mwebale ino, mwebale te gerant mulibasoka. Gerant muraninga project sedi yoku ya mbabasoko kwe nunula. Baba, evu soka wanu yintandi kire kunti. Ya baile la ivera wa iswa huu ya alipo gira. Ya mela wakubo ni? Wa iswa. Aha. Muna mauli de. Bana mungani mbio gire kuru wa imu. Kali. Tuendo kwe baza Mr. President. Kwe tuwa gulikeri na liangovi. Ukwe siga hava soga. Hava soga wa maze ibanga. Ngatiba tuwe siga. Ye meleza. Utafuwa hiyo. Ye meleza. Mkulu wa ipiriza. Simi ye meleza. Akitabi gawa tulu kwa gera di alu talo. Mr. President. Tuendo kwe baza National Unity Platform. Ukuri kogo na izinga. No kutu. Timuwa kwa makukutu wabike tezo vya kukule mbela mchibi na chino. Giving us a new direction of leadership. Kumange yebusoga, tubayetu zida direction ya kukule mbeze. Nga tuliaga naga. Narebu Paolo mwila aluwa ye. Oh, mwile kaseto wanu ye. Oidono mwile ye. Mr. President, haba kukule mbeze yebusoga ngo kubafuna mwile ono yari yoku naba kukule mbeze nga basatu. Ayo lwa lero ntolina haba soganga haba kule mbeze Haba sobolo kwe melela wano Atenga banji chodo doba sigaile waka Haba andi nga wetu haba ile miko loba kate kate Haba andi baba ilewa looza Tituluku kedabu kweri Haba amba ile ngo yedabu kweri Haba lizi chifete mja kubo ngero mkisa Haba vile memale mjembe keteze vindi Luachi haba soga walikuwa ayo moyo Kuwanga mwa haba sembeza Mwa ate gerevi zibu vya ibwe Lero buso ganeni na yobu avu Bobo yendo kuogera kubavu mu Uganda Osoka kuogera kubusoka mewa yogera kubitu nduwe vindi Nikala meja tuwa jivisa Mfunza da tuluma imemwe ne mwa ime ama kuba anti Haa bate kwe vigere mafuta haa bana kola batia Haye nga government echo che inzo kola chi Teri ingiri ile chidi kufa kuchi Tia haa mute kuwa vigere mafuta mwe date reda Haye nga chidi kufa kubavu So kuita kwa mbukule mbeze netivi na chineche ni upi Chidi kutanga azaba soga Echi soko kwe ni gira mu Aye chisinga kuba chikuru Okuikiririza mubu kulembeze Bwa national unity platform Mutu tembe ete Paka kuto ulaku na chema lido yu msebe niyo wedi Baba omusado ya azida wakala kaite Bubi inga wakala kaite basoka Ye na tukere ya sima Tinga mwiliba vino Ye na mwe na tukere na chema lido ya kuba Ntahe wa nungamba tusiza wala Ye na wea tutusati ya subida Tituliduka waye wetuli E subi didi mwe mwe Habana Uganda habari mnational inter platform Habari kulafubana Nenzo kwe bazaba soga Kuruwa bukule mbeze wa national inter platform Nifu haba kule mbeze baimwe Ido mwatu wa iramani manji Mwatu wa iramani manji Kubo lusi tujatu wa kubantu Kwe logo sa kwe logo Sitibari kuhulidiza Amani ya kabatele waku Okuba limba Vietuli ni vietutali Okuruwa nise tv na cha national inter platform Ae ni mukoba antibe Oi do msoka wakoba atibe Mr. President Ya wakobi ye Aye kuru no wakoba anti NRM zizi Wakoba antibe Era NRM teja kuiramu Kwe gazaniza kuchalo chaife Mweba leno mweba lirala bantu webu soga Kitu ya kubati itirida Tuja kuko lavuile na musana Era Mr. President omulu ndigunu Tulikule te timu No olivo na bamu ilu valiwan Bakalu ya valiwan Pastor muanguzu unu Seka unu Onolita mama mayuke, sete no bakubo ni. Hmm, toli mweru ino, mweru na ame wala. Na wakule mbeze, bona bona we muli kola, Mr. President, tujia kolo muli mu. Kulu no, tujia kukolo muti, muli mu kumanga, tutege identi, ama zima, wano wongkana wajio kutasa, haba soga. Weba reino, weba lirala, luachive mereide, wano balinze, wama ulirenti, tulikuwe la muli. Kumanga ifebu soga, tuadule seno, tabantu bali kutufu mabe kamuli. Baba ave kamori bali kutuvumanti hii. Imwela mamuko miyabu uolelo. Tia msiriki lide. Tujia kuwa wama ulide. President wa imuengo vichagulani Robert Setam. Aida kola chona chona ichisobuka. Atalage mbuso gamuna kudemu atuwa. Ila ifetuwa didikile ya ringa public holiday. Nibu oko vencho. Ila abantu nga maduka baigala. Benda wako mwoga kunate gira. Tuliku ila kuchi. Ngaba na Uganda. Mwe valeno mwe validelala. Kutu wagwe sikenga wa soga. Tituliva suaza. Ifengaba kule mbezi. Mwe vale ino, mwe vale didala. Tida kuwa andulai, mwe na mwe nese babu ini. Ole kwe mwe inari mkako fido yu kanyama. Kanyama vamo ita bobi jayanti. 
Kale mje mweti amiri Mwe vale ino mwe vale derara Kasikari wa ye Kasikari mkoti Mwe vale ino mwe vale derara Mr. President I can tell you when you see such groups of people from as far as Busoga, it is reason for us to clap ourselves. Abasoga mwekumide komungalo na karulu. It is not a press conference for Basoga, but yesterday uh, our president was disturbed. And we are warning security. Ngobi mumuzani kize wandi, timumuzani kiza Busoga. Ngobi muje mumuzani kize yowa, Fransi, Ukraini, ayere Busoga. Echo mchivwe Tichida kusoboka Mweva leno mweva lila kumpuliza Tijia kungira hivigambo vindi mungane Ndete secretary general WTV Na cha national in the platform Nambu na yena Aide ayogere kuyetuli Sebo Mr. Secretary General Kukaro wa wajo sawa nani People power Our power you will forgive me, my voice is not the best. We ate a lot of tea gas yesterday. Uh, Mr. President, uh, Deputy President, Leader of the Opposition in Parliament, Honorable Members of Parliament, uh, Head of Mobilization, Chairman Nyanzibanange, Uvida Kokubantu, Okungemu. Yeah, I want to appreciate first of all all the leaders who uh, led the charge yesterday on our way to Kamuli, and of course that's why I had to recognize him because as the head of mobilization, that is his activity, and he was the one leading us uh, in terms of the organizational work. Although the main person was our president who was going out to meet his people. Uh, as you all know, we rolled out and announced our nationwide tour and formally notified the police as required by the law. The laws of Uganda say that if you want to hold a public meeting, public gathering, you should notify. And it should be very clear that the law does not say you should ask for permission. It is to notify them, which we did. Unfortunately, these people have not responded to us in writing. We wrote to them, they did not write to us. We just had media reports that uh, one Mr. Enanga was somewhere saying that we did not notify them, first of all, which was a lie, but not unexpected of him because one time he even talked about uh, uh you remember very well. So that he tells lies is not surprising. But the other thing he said was that there is a ban on activities of the national unity platform and we are asking what kind of ban is that how can you say that a political party is banned from carrying out activities when other political actors political parties and other individuals including illegal ones like plou are allowed to go on and carry out their activities carry out processions do all sorts of things and then they come and say that NUP is not allowed to do its activities. And I think the question we are putting with the police is whether they have now also decided, as they have always done anyway, to go into the political arena. And if they have started already to say that they, are go they, they intend, while we are running a race, they want to tie us with ropes and allow all other political actors to continue running while we are grounded. And of course, that is something that we shall not allow as a national unity platform. Having said that, I, I want to read a letter that we are this afternoon going to deliver to the police. Today, as you know, we were supposed to be in Bugweri district, and we did not because of the violence that was meted out on us yesterday. Those of you who were there saw the kind of violence. Right from Buyikwe, they started beating up our people, arresting others. Uh, as I speak, we have some of our comrades still stuck in hospitals and that kind of thing. So we decided that we should come and, first of all, protest. Because we wrote to them, they did not write back to us. We've just been hearing what they've been saying uh, in the news. So this is a letter addressed to the Inspector General of Police, dated today. And uh, it's titled, Protest 
against the brutality meted out on us by the police and military on Wednesday, 22nd May 2024, and the illegal obstruction of our activities. Reference is made to hours dated 10th, in which we informed them about our nationwide membership registration, and further reference is made to our letter on or dated 16th, in which we notified the police of our intended public rallies, mobilization meetings, and radio talk shows in the different districts of Uganda. On Wednesday 22nd, which was yesterday, we set off to Kamuli for our first event. Whereas our team was very peaceful, as you all saw, and law-abiding, a combined force of the police and military responded to us with so much violence and brutality. They used tear gas, live bullets, and pepper spray to disperse peaceful citizens who had gathered to receive us, and most importantly, our president. They also used the sticks and batoons to beat up several people, some of whom are still admitted in different hospitals. A huge roadblock was mounted to prevent us from entering Kamuli district, while our people were being subjected to so much violence. Some of our leaders were brutally arrested for trying to organize a lawful meeting. This, is, this letter is therefore to strongly protest against these violent and unlawful actions by the police and military against peaceful trying to exercise their freedom of assembly guaranteed under Article 29 of the Constitution. Whereas we wrote to you, meaning the police, about our intended activities, we have received no formal response raising any issue with our meetings. We have, however, had media reports wherein Mr. Fred Enanga claimed that we hadn't notified you about our activities, which was false. He also claimed that there is a standing ban on NUP activities without substantiating the reasons, the extent, and the legality of the claimed ban. It would be illegal and partisan for the police to issue a blanket ban on the activities of the national platform while other political actors go on with their mobilization activities. As you are aware, meaning the police, Various political actors, more so those aligned with the NRM, continue to hold procession, public rallies, and media engagements. Why is NUP specifically targeted and being restricted from mobilizing and organizing? We therefore request the IGP to prevail over the police and other security agencies not to interfere with the rest of our program as communicated to you in the reference letters. If there is any legitimate concerns about our activities, we are ready and available to engage with the police leadership in order to ensure that our activities proceed successfully. Short of that, they will be violating the law and we shall use everything within our means to take them on. So that is the letter, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, maybe as I conclude, let me say this also, that as NUP, we have constantly told you that we write these letters so that we are on record. Not that sometimes even when, you know, people say, why do you write to We want to be on record. And many times you've seen what comes out of being on record. It may not be what you expect, but there are things that come and bite, and sometimes bite in a harder way. But we also believe that eventually there will have to be accountability for all these violations, and it is very important at all times for us to be on the record. So, without wasting any time, I want to very quickly maybe. On Nakura Jom to live and got together, Kamuli, the two day chicken and watch a fetch of two Kayaban to a fake city in Adela, President Wafe, the I know two Kakuban to be a very young between the Gwangi Benjaro. Program ya police Tena 
Katika mwala vye, vye nawe wakoze, vye wakoze, niba diploi inga, niba kuwa abantu wa fe, amuni wa wasiba, niba tuogele la, abantu wa fe wadie yo, bamo, bebe tukola na kuwano, tebali wa nasi, wachi, kubanga, baba tuke polisi, ekamuli, niba surayo, ila utuogele wa tukanda, wamu baba tukali mbatu wala mkoti. Abamu nino baba sanze nego restaurant, nga wanyo wamu kachai, kwa kachai, nyo mjao nukwala, of course tuli denti, bage zako, o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o stronger <laughs> Na ye umulamu umula umukuru kweliko Chitoka kwa kubachu kiza Nchitoka kwa wandi ikida Echoka kubiri kwa kubate keza Nchi jobo etuwate Tuwandi kila IGP Nchi jobo etuwate tutanisi activities zafe Bako ze fujo Okuvira dalamu yikwe Kuburija nebako wabantu wafe Nebake na maso Kukubo lorele gende kamuli Atewe tu geza kwa kuingi la kamuli Nekusanga nga wata dewa majene polisi Mula vichiba deyo Haa, uh, uwe ngulabo na wana uwa uwe kamuli Almost nevi tundu vya nevi yao Bubade bujudeti ya gas Nevi yao, so Sebo virus ya ati Haa, uh, so Bata deko road block Neba, neba kwa abantu wa fe Ela neba kwa atana abantu wa fe Banji nyo, awade teba ina musango So, netuga manti Tuwandike ne balua Eba tegeza, nti neba koze Bime nya amateka Mami ya nanga, jebubude kwa ya bayo na gama ni tituwa wa tegeza, echari stufu ya tuwa teka ya balu wa jituwa wa wa. Mpoze choku vidi, ya bayo na gama ni boba atiteka wako mbumbo, boba atiteka wako bani. Tetuso wala kola activities. Katene balu wa wabuza, tiluachi muga manti NUP teina kola activities. Songa mwe, mukiliza abala labo nane veta ya anga wabagala, mguanga. Ndoza jebubude kwa mbate mbalaba. Awa pia yu juzi bali masaka Bo of course Chewa vila na wa tu vila na bo Bye bye no picking Awa tu neba 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 gula zi Neba neba pangi sa zi basi Neba jawa tu mbitu nbio na vila na ilaba maulide Mwavi kavali nganga wa mba banja transporti wa wu Kakati Bwe wae kungali zeyo Bye save you for procession Ketu wala wa polisi we bayo Juzi mula vye onolili ya na be Nga ino mkolo kitu gumu Ne mula wa procession ze wade baisa Nevi dala, nevi dala. So, tubu uza luachi wa chituka kwa NUP. Bwebe kwa sane bata nika kuja yibi songa, songa. Songa, techiri mmateka, echo chona chona, chepakola. So, tuwa gala babu uza. Chemutegeza NUP yo mjisibye mwe mguwane. Mga mba yote kena kutambula. Na ya wala labo nabo na, mubaleke batambule. Tetuka ama ntubali na boba wagani. Aha, bali batambule na ina fe batuleke. Tukole vya fe, vya fe. Enuku beba, nga jeba ina... Ya kubanti fetuwela na wa ntubanji nyo Fetuwela chapako lila Sole Kati Let me invite you to invite the president Mpazi Nechisemba yo mbaluwe no tupategeze za Nti Mbweba Mbweba wa ina nsonga Eye gumba Mbweba ina Tuli rede Tuli available But we tell Tuo gele na votu Wauli ize mchime wa gamba Bale meo kutule wa kule press conferences We have a inen songa ngeri mwe gumba Echo mchuli renga Eli legitimate yona yona Batu ite tutule na fe Tuandule songa za fe Thank you The right honorable Secretary General People power Our power People power Our power Kunga busaka kunga Without waiting
requesting time. Your Excellency, the de facto and de jure president of the Republic of Uganda, Your Excellency. Ngobi, Obini, and all the other names, and the Right Honorable Secretary General, the leader of opposition, Honorable Joel, and all protocol observed in the interest of time. And you, the, the, our, our, our allies, in terms of taking our voices there, we do not take it for granted. Yesterday was yet another awakening the great role you play as media people. Mweba Leino. Yes. We are continuing as per our notice, as per our program, because it is very legal, because it is constitutional. The president is going to talk about it. We are here today by choice to civilly, in a civil manner, communicate and address and recommit that we are going to go ahead with our civil and civic duty as a political party. I am humbled and honored to be part of this journey. And I know the day is very soon when our tears are going to drop, not because of the brutality, but because God answered our prayers and our resilience Amen. delivered that new Uganda. On that note, and having congratulated the team book, Busoga, Mweba Leino. We have not reached Kamuli, and we are going to be in Kamuli. Yes. As requested, mine is to reaffirm our commitment. Mine is to reaffirm also my personal commitment to be on this trip, to be on this journey, and also let us not go back to our closet. I want to call upon all the women of Uganda. You should have been in Busoga yesterday. Women with babies on their back. Running with us. I was propelled out of the comfort of a vehicle to run with these women. To run for Uganda. To run as a statement. We cannot keep silent. We cannot sit down anymore. We have to continue to not only make restless, restless noises, but to act restless in terms of reclaiming our rightful space and reaching out to our people wherever they are. Your Excellency, with that, I would like to take this opportunity to invite you to communicate. Please do not, do not think this is an act of cowardice we retreated. No, we retreated because it is the most civil thing to do. We are a political party that goes back to the drawing board and sits and we communicate. We also listen. Many of you are advising us. We listen. And thank you so much. Your Excellency, please come and give us that word of wisdom. And light the fire! Thank you very much, Madam Deputy. People power! Our power! Our power! People power! Our power! People power. Our power. Our power. NUP! Everywhere! Everywhere! NUP! Yo yo! 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 Yo People power. Power, 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 people power, NUP, everywhere, everywhere, NUP. Thank you very much, comrades. Please take seats.
Thank you, Madam Deputy President, uh, Comrade Secretary General, uh, Leader of Opposition, Leader of our Opposition of our Parliamentary Team, our National Mobilizer, Comrade Members of Parliament, other leaders, ladies and gentlemen, I salute you. Uh, so much has been said, I just want to add my voice appreciating the people of Usoga, the leaders of Usoga, most importantly. Thank you very much. Thank you, the foot soldiers of Usoga, the supporters, the members. We salute you once again. Give them a big round of applause. The leaders, uh, headed by Comrade Kaluya, uh, Honorable Mwiru, uh, our deputy spokespersons, all the leaders of Usoga, you did an amazing job yesterday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank the people of Busoga, the masses that showed up, braved tear gas, braved live, live bullets, braved intimidation to come and show our solidarity. Thank you very much. We don't take it for granted. That is what the regime fears. They fear people. They fear the truth. And every time you come out in large numbers, you confirm to us that what we're believing in is not wrong. We salute you. Thank you very much. The people of Kamoli, although we were blocked from reaching you, but please know that we saw the solidarity that you were preparing to show us. We salute you. Our leaders were arrested in Kamoli, and I'll talk about that later. But we thank the people of Kamoli for always standing on the right side of history, for always refusing to be slaves in their land. We salute you. Thank you very much. I was not able to address you yesterday because we were blocked. We were tear gassed. Many of our comrades were arrested. Some were, you know, hurt. I watched with my eyes a baby girl fighting for her life in a taxi where a police officer came and threw a tear gas canister in a taxi after blocking us. So many cars were parked behind because the road was blocked. No car could turn. They could not rush her in hospital. So I watched a baby fight for her life. But even the people among our teams that were trying to save the baby were being beat by the police. It's so shameless, shame, shameful, but that's the country we're living in. But we salute all of you leaders that we were, were, that we were with in Kamoli. My message to the people of Kamoli. Number one, I am coming there and I will reach you by all necessary means. But before we come to you, I want you to know that we are not giving up. I want you to know that what you're supporting is legitimate, is moral. I want you to know that it, God is on your side, the law is on our side, and the people of Uganda are all on our side. Everybody is struggling for freedom, at least in our lifetime. And we shall see that day, God will. Don't be scared. These people are scared. You saw that we were able, they were trying to block us from reaching Kamoli. But we slowed down which turned out to be an advantage because we were able to interact with almost the whole of Usoga from Njeru all the way to Bupadengo. Buolero, that's near Bupadengo, isn't it? So, to the people of Kamoli, don't give up. These people, one, they are scared because they know they are illegitimate. They cannot reason us out. They cannot give any reason any moral reason for the things they're doing. So, they resort to violence. They resort to brutality. They want to provoke us to violence. We are many. We are millions. But we refuse to be reduced to violence because we know violence only begets violence. Don't fear them. They cannot stand us if we choose to stand up. And this is why they cannot. They had to solicit police officers from different police stations in Busoga so they can be able to contain us. They had to pick tear gas from all police stations in Busoga to ensure that they can contain us. We did not encourage people to take them on, and yet we can. We could 
you know, overcome them and go to Busoka, or to go to Kamoli. But we decided to be the moral people that we have always been, and I continue to encourage you to be non-violent, to be moral, but to be firm, and not to accept to be enslaved on your own land. So my message to you continues to be that we are stronger than these immoral people. We are stronger than these rebels. And non-violence ultimately will win violence. So stand firm. To all the people of Uganda, now you know that if you rose, I mean, the whole of Uganda police was in Busoga. What if the people of Masaka rose up? What if the people of other parts of Busoga rose up? What if the people in Kampala rose up? So, when I want to be to you, I to be here. The singer to get up, come on, to me, cafe, na, fe, na, kaba, kagwa, mubugu. Like I said, we shall come to Kamori and we shall reach Kamori. And that will not be very far from now. Yesterday, many of our comrades were arrested in Kamori alone. More than 20 were arrested. But even before I talk about those, as I speak right now, our brother Bobby Young was arrested yesterday. Apparently, the outfits the NUP and People Power outfits that we wear are now declared to be military uniforms. As we speak right now, an international award-winning fashion designer called Latif Madoi is in prison because he tailored an outfit for me. I wear the outfit. They are not arresting me because so much media is focused on me. But Latif is in prison and other fashion designers are in prison. For maintenance. That is how timid they are. We protest them through music. That's why my music is banned in Uganda. We protest them through fashion. That's why now an international fashion designer that has brought so much pride to Uganda is in prison for tailoring an outfit for me. That is what this regime has reduced itself to. I encourage you to continue morally defying them, morally resisting. Because the world is with us, and one day history will write about us. <laughs> Not just those, uh, I've already mentioned that yesterday more than 20 of our staff members were arrested, including Sarah Mukisa, our administrative secretary, and the deputy head of the women wing, Rama Juma, together with comrades like Shafi Adams, like uh, Bobby, Bobby Rush and many others. I'm told that this morning they're being taken to court and be sure that yet another you know, bogus charge is going to be slapped on them. But that is not new with this regime. They one day claimed that they found two machine guns. Now I don't know where those so-called machine guns of mine disappeared from. So we will stand firm. We will defy that injustice and we will defeat that injustice, God willing. I will also remind you that just two days ago, I went to what is supposed to be the Uganda Human Rights Commission, headed by Ewan Wangadia. In 2018, December, I reported a case to the Uganda Human Rights Commission I petitioned against the illegal blockage of my concerts. I am an artist, a professional artist, and the law in Uganda provides that everybody shall be free to exercise and, you know, benefit from their work. But more than five years, I was not given a hearing. For the first time after, after more than five years, almost six years, the Uganda, the so-called Uganda Human Rights Commission gave me a hearing and I only spoke two statements and I was shut up because the head of the Uganda Human Rights Commission does not want to listen to anything apart from the interests of General Museveni and because we didn't have any option we withdrew our petition from the so-called Uganda Human Rights Commission but I want to inform you today that that was not the end that we went there because we had any positive results. 
we already know that all institutions of government have been captured by the regime. Every institution is serving General Museveni. We've told you before that when you're fighting against General Museveni, you're fighting against UPDF, you're fighting against the National Police, you're fighting against Bank of Uganda, and you're fighting against every other institution of state, including the Uganda Human Rights Commission. So I'm here to inform you that we are going to escalate this matter. Wangadia is not the end. We are going to petition all international human rights bodies. And we are going to seek many, many other remedies, including sanctions on Madame Wangadia. Because she is supposed to be the chief person on the, of the Uganda Human Rights Commission, fighting for human rights for Ugandans. But she's the number one violator of human rights. When the families of the people that were, were abducted and still missing by the military, she claimed that these people are non-existent. Even when the prime minister of this regime came out and owned that she indeed knows where John Bosco Chivalama is, she saw him. Wangadia came out and said Chivalama is a ghost. So Wangadia is also a target for sanctions over violating human rights. Now, coming back to our tour, yes, so many of our people were hurt. So many of our people were arrested. Bullets were flying everywhere, even when we were non-violent. We encourage our people to be non-violent, and that is going to be our way until we win. However, I'm here to also add a voice on what our Secretary General mentioned. Yes, we've written a protest letter. Not because we expect the police to be in a moral. We wanted to go on record. And just after this press conference, our senior leaders are going to deliver that letter to the Inspector General of Police, to his office. And we hope that will shake them to sobriety. But even if they don't, we want to go on record because we know that anybody that breaks the law will be personally liable. We want to go on record so that the law can go after all those people in their individual capacity. You know what happened to Kaihura, you know what happened to Kandiho, you know what happened to all these other people, but we want sanctions on every other human rights violator, to every other person in office that abuses their office. And we shall get that, inshallah. So, because they blocked us from reaching Kamoli, our nationwide tour has not yet started. We did not go to Bugweri today because we had to come here and make it clear to the nation and also engage the police of the dictator. So I hereby announce that tomorrow we are resuming our nationwide tour. <laughs> tomorrow we are going to answer. We are not breaking any law. We are not doing anything wrong. We are a legitimate political party. We are not committing any crime. While all other political parties are going about, any, about their business, we are being blocked. We know the regime fears us, but they don't have to embarrass them, show themselves showing fear. There could be a few people in Uganda who still support the regime. Don't show them that you're so scared of us. So we are going about our work. Like I said, we are not committing any crime. Everybody else is going up. Every other political parties and other political actors are going about their business unhindered. Why are they blocking us? Even those that are doing illegal gatherings, for example, Museveni's son is a serving military officer who is barred by the law. He's forbidden by the law in engaging in partisan politics. But he goes around politicking and nobody touches it. But the police and the military are all deployed to stop us. We are going to go about our work. You have two options. Either to leave us, either to respect the law and leave us go about our work. Or engage in your criminality and go on record. Because you know that Uganda is not isolated from the rest of the world. The law will come for you. If the Ugandan law cannot get you, the international law will get you.
If Ugandan institutions cannot get you, international institutions will get you. As for us, we shall continue doing what we're doing within the law, and we shall wait for you to put yourself in touch for answering. Because we know one day you'll have to answer internationally. Muruganda, njaka lukubeba za mwenaba ganda bange, njaka uluomu limo kwetendu kumako ze, njaka lukubeba za bafutso jazibibu soga, uluwa mobilization jemako ze ino kutukuma, njaka lukubeba za abantu bibu soga, uluwa kufayo ni mwe uwa kumakubo, kufira dala angel unga tetunabana kusala nairu, ni baku mida tia gas, ni baku mida emigo, ni baku mida amasosa akaba dege soza, nga baka la utula gobumu. Mwe bali nyo mwe bali edala bananga. Njaka ano kwewa zaba ntube kamuli. Kube kamuli ya teye migo jata nise mangu. Ne tia gasi ya tanise mangu. Nene mube edao. Ne mutu pinda. Chana kutetua sobo depatu ukako. Ne tuja patu ukako. Mungeri yona. Esawa yona. Meseji yange yaba ntube kamuli. Njaka lo baju kizaba nangi. Si mwe bai kamuli mwekana. Yoko etola Uganda yona. Mwalabie. Ditua sobo de okutambula. Nga tuambuli ya kuspeedi bili okuvira dale njeru Netusala bridge Netujira dala paka ebu uolira Kumpi nebu padengu Luachi Kubanga banabasajia teba mala kubwe mba mulibanji Baba teba ino kusoroza tia kasi mbusoka yu na Baba teba ino kusoroza wa sirikale mbusoka yu na Atena vonga baba teba jia kumala kwa nafe Kubanga tuwa bade mituwaru na mituwaru Tuwa sazewo Ubuta luana gana nabu Tuwa sazewo Ubuta skanga nana nabu Netuchuka, netude kampala Uluwe nsonga zinu wa mango Kuso kera dala, tuwa bade tuwa gala kuja Kugera kona mbune kwa anga Tuwa bade tuwa gala kuja, okugenda kuriko Diyo kuwandi kila polisi Nga tuwe mulugunya, nga tuwe kalakasa Tubalage e uchamo vebali mkola So that tugenda on record Bine bintu bie tukola, tutubikola Kubanga tuwa gala banabantu, bachi usen pisa Nida, tumanyina bo Bala girwa bo la girwa Kuwanga Uganda fugi wa family imu msebe ni Mwaba atia NUP ne people power Atia kubala jira bakolebo ni chabu Sibu chiba kona Netu wakala tukende kurikodi Kuwanga tumanye chisera chikenda kutuka Eze baruwa zonazi veyo Tumanye chisera chikenda kutuka Budi akoze chikolo veru Ye ngoo mtu ano nyezebwe Chovola tukenda kurikodi Tuliba sanyo funyo ilaka tonda ya tuyambanyo Ti generation ya fe Is a modern generation Everything is on record Everything is on life Everything is on camera. So none of those human rights violators will run away. Because in Africa. So njaka lo beba zaba ntube kamoli. Njaka la mumanye nti mwe. Ngabwe mwawa daba ntube busoka. Ati cheta ka polisi yo na kufaye yo. Abafe. Singe chaba de busoka. Chibe rebu siya. Ne chibe ra. Muno than Uganda. Ne chibe rebu busu. Ne chibe rebu ganda. Ne chibe rebu di wamu. Kaba kawe demu. Bino mituko la tuwa gala vipala geba ganda wangindi Na mwebwe muna imo ka Budi wa mu Bano tuwa tukenda bagala So Tuwa tukenda pa stretching Muruganda chikambo chichiri It's just stretching Tuwa tukenda pari ingula Musenyu Muruganda Mbaile nenda kovalu soga Na ata Muruganda Bano tuwa tukenda pari ingula So Nenda tuwa legule vana Nenda tuwa stretching E muluso kakupa kugana E nenda tuwa kare vana Kwa kana mbaile Mbaile ntegeza ku Kuwa kara Tina iso vana E tina vana vana So Tuchu sobo li radara We can stretch this regime All oppressed people Have only liberated themselves By rising at the same time they cannot come and suppress the people in Busoga at the same time in Buganda, at the same time in Ankole. We need to pick from this that we are doing. So we mula banga chikute Busoga, mabe Buganda temuli nanga kuku, temutuli nanga bagamba. Mabe Buganda temutuli nanga bagamba. But for now, ya gala nyo okubeba za. Mbate nga mantinara biyo mwano moto, nga alwana okuona. Sima nyo uba bebi ya onye Kubango msirikari ya ze Na surati ya gasi mo tax Atenge moto kaze sibi ya mabeka Kukubo wa jikade Tivaina we watasiwa Katonda kilize Kumano yo mabenga ya onye 
Naira banji nyo abafude webatio Malabiba kubatia gazi Vamu kubamu nyumba zaba Vamu kubamu bakade E yonkola ya musebe ni Basebo ni banyabu Bakute abantu wa febanji Na inga sinayo gira na kubiba kute Wano wendi Wano ituo gira na Bana febanji bali mkumera Malabi designer Chiki de yugana kuplato Nye ukwe tolensi yona Bamu kute Ni bamu siba Wanga yantu ngiri chambalo Zayambale chambalo Chambalo chenabademu Nejo chenabademu Ni bamu kute Gaba gamba Jetungide chakula nye chambalo So buwebo buumba tutu Uwari jimu eno wetu Kwa sebo ni banyabu Kona lo mbali mbali inumi ya lusoka Tine echo Echo cha lusoka Zene yo geta lusoka lo wangu mungu Sito pala kubwa wano nga siwa juki za Tibana nge mo juki ranti Mia ke jisuka mweta na jise Tuwa tuwa lo kwe mrugu nya kwa fe Muka chiko kete mbeli obu ntu Kata kakulivu mchala kubaita wangadia Nenga we mmolabie Nga wantu waba wamba yena gamba abo Tibati yu Nga family ya chivalama na balala ba agenda Ni batu wala yu ni ID, ni national ID za bantu wa baba wa ambiwa. Ni baka ama chishuwani. Ya baba ntu wali yu. Ni naba nja Prime Minister wa msebe ni gaya vayo na agama chivalama, chitufu, bamu ina. Ye wangadi ya agamba, chivalama, simu untu, muzimu. Kakacho muntu uobu ongo uvo. Ni ndo oze yu. Ya kulira akachiko kede mberi uobu untu. Simanyi, uba ina abana. Simanyi, uba ama. Na ye uyu ya kuli ya kachiko kede mberi obu ntu. Akachiko kede mberi obu ntu. Obazi no tribunal zozi ina nukola faster than the court of law. Tribunals like the Uganda Human Rights Commission are supposed to solve human rights violations faster than court of law. But you will notice that more than five years since I petitioned the Uganda Human Rights Commission, they had never given me a hearing. And when they gave me a hearing, I went there, I did not even speak two sentences, and she shut me up. Because she's not willing to listen to anything other than what she wants. But then you get out of Uganda. Yeah. Bama ni miyake tano, ngati bampa di mukisa. Kuja kutanya songa yange mukati. Ne ne bampi solu banyu marwe miyake jigena mukaka. Sayo get the statement is with a bidi. Na wade nita andi kukwa ugera na ansiri sa Kwa ya ya gala kuli labi ya gala Nore nisongi yo Umsangu kwa fetu wa kuje yo Kuwanga akachiko ke dembeli obo ntu Mnyuganda teka kuma dembeli obo ntu Wabula kari nyiri ya dembeli obo ntu Na inyi nesu anyo pate geza nti Tebi hako mekuwa angadia Wali yo platform nyi nyi nyo 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 Ukweto ule nsi Ezirani dembeli obo ntu Muna jukira nti wangadia wamo kwa bako Mkachiko ke nsi yo naka dembeli obo ntu Kati njaka lopa tegeza nti wangati ya yenyini Tuke na mutu wala mugu chiko Uwe dembeli obu ntu Uwe tolde nsi yona kubwa ya akule mbira abatu E dembeli obu ntu Ero mchalo yu Na henga we mula ba anita mongo Butuwa mutu temu platform ze ziri international Nasi wako nati Tuwa gala ni wangati ya Atekeweko sanctions Kubwa ya singa okuli nyiri ya e dembeli obu ntu Yenyi kutuluku ni abantu Wanga ba uba we ofisio ya Nanyi ziwa kudembeli abantu Atenga gobi kirira Abayi tulugu nya abantu Na uwe wangadi ya tulugu nya abantu Madamu yi wangadi ya yu One of the human rights violators And we are taking you to international platforms We want sanctions against you Chino saka dechi mukweka Wangadi ya kanchikute ili muluganda Na uwe guomu kubanyi giriza Kubali nye dembeli obuntu Era na uwe tuwa galo teke weko nati Gaba kama abo Atetu manye chuchijia kutuki Kati nganze yo kutuwa ya fe. We wawo wana fe vanji nyo bako atipu wanga mumuli ni administrative secretary wa fe, Madam Sara Mkisa. Mumuli amiu kakuli laba chala mnup komredu wa majuma. Mumuli bagana wa fe nga Bobby Rush, nga wa Shafi Adams. Naba lala, todo ya bantu makumi ya bili abako atipuwa. Tegeze buwanti kumacha, baganye kuwa wa bondi. Nilaba basindi semu koti kati. Chumunachi musuholo kola muja chikola. Na hii tuja kuwa free, tuja bako wa, tuja kufune dembili ya fe, tuja kuwa ya gali na mwesi ya fe, ate muja pisa suri ya benabe na vimokoze. Vawa gulunga mba tegeza. Yes, unakuluwa alero tuwa hade tuina kubela kubwe liti tuwa genzeyo. Kwa tuwa hade tuino koma u, tuwa ndike baluwe yu tukende kurikodi. Tuwa gerene ikuanga, bamanye chetuliko. Unakuluwe ncha, tukela kuzambala, tugenda parisa. Nationwide tuwa ya fe, egena gena maso. Tetuina musangu uge tukola, 
tetuina teka le tumenya tetuina chintu che tuonona buli chimu tuchikolera mateka kubanga tuli chibina ekiwandi se mateka ekironde fetuina no kubanga tukulembere gwanga lino Museveni is an illegitimate president he is not the president of Uganda he is a, a bandit that took over our country that years ago and every 5 years he organizes sham elections but even in the 2021 sham elections we defeated the illegitimate however we are being non-violent and we are doing everything within the law because we know we are on the right side of history we are on the right side of the law so we are going to parisa tomorrow thank you very much and god bless you questions baba <laughs> Uh, you have heard, I will now take questions straight away because we are behind the schedule. We will take three questions. We will take three questions. Any question you have elaborated very well. Okay. I will have my brother from NTV and then I saw someone behind, but we are the same company, Spark and NTV. Okay. Let me have you have the questions, please. Raymond Tamale from NTV. Umukuru Chagulani, a Chibuzo Chabobian, Tochize Mu Burundi, Uganda. But then Jagak Tegera, Mengaba NUP Mograchi, Ku Songa Bobian, Police of Dene Gamanti. Nevy and Barrow, every fine Zavia Maja, Irakati, and Mikono Jat. Mangabe Shivina, are you going to follow process of Gavanga Mujayo, Guanga, the Chitako, Banzubanga, Yama Yamaja? Any question? Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Um, the question was about uh, Bobby Young, uh, and I will ask the President to come and uh, give us a reply to that, because it goes as far as uh, the other outfit. So, Mr. President, the, you have spoken the same audibly well that the journalists have no question or clarity to desire. Thank you very much, Comrade Weisswa. The question of Bobby Young, police came out and said, they found, they found him with clothes resembling military attires. All of you know that in 2021, so many of our comrades were arrested. Many of them are still in prison. They were put, they were, they were uh, presented to a military court and their crime was wearing this beret. According to Uganda police, and Uganda People's Defense Forces, this is a military uniform. This is a military uniform. Anybody put this? Come here. According to Uganda police, this is a military uniform. And many of our colleagues are in prison for dressing like that. According to them, this is a military hat. And hundreds of our supporters are in prison for wearing this. Actually, many were just picked off the streets, taken to the military detention. They have berets that they've confiscated from us. They took their picture and they charged them in the military court for wearing military uniform. Now, you've just told us that police yesterday said that having found Bobby Young with berets like the one I'm wearing now before you and suits like the one I'm wearing, only that these were red. 
he was arrested and now he's detained at JAT. JAT in full is joint anti-terrorism of cameras. And we wear it. They've not arrested me because they know that they are wrong. They are using that to intimidate our people. Like I told you, music is so powerful, that is why they banned my music. That is why our comrade Marinos was arrested and raped by the military as a punishment for playing my music loud. Fashion is a way of protest. We dress the way we dress because we don't fight with guns. But we beat them by dressing this way and showing up. And before long, we are even going to do, uh, discover a new walking style. Those are our new useful ways of protesting. So the regime is trying as much as possible to fight any kind of non-violent protest. These are some of our ways of non-violent protest. So the arrest of Bobby Young is not only stupid, but it's illegal. And it puts the regime to shame. But again, putting him in joint anti-terrorism uh, detention exposes them even further. We know before long they're going to charge him in the military court, like they charged most of our supporters. Remember that terrorists, rebels that are caught with guns, that have killed people, are not presented in a military court. They are not taken to the court martial. They are taken to an ordinary court, to a magistrate court. But our supporters and our members are taken to the military court. Why? Because they want to plant fear in us. They want to make it abominable for anybody to associate with us. But we say they are joking. We will not stop. I encourage all of you to dress in red, to put on red overall, to put on the way I'm putting on, because it is not against the law. We have challenged them to adduce evidence and convict us for wearing the way we're wearing. But because they know they cannot convict us, they know it is not illegal to dress the way we are dressing. We know the law. And we know the difference between military uniforms and our attires. But they use it for politics. Like I said, all institutions have been captured, including the military and police. That's how, that's why they behave. That we stand with Bobby Young. We pray for him and we continue to demand for his unconditional release because he's not a criminal. It is Museveni and his regime that are criminals. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much. I, I must also add that many people put on military uniforms and you see them. You see them. You've seen many of NRM MPs wearing full military uniforms with pips. You've seen artists dressed in military uniforms. But for us, it's a different story because we are so feared by the regime. Konsonga ya Bobi Yanga, mwena mwena, Mujukira, Timokaluru Kabiri, Abiri Mugumu, Bak, Watavan to Bakivan, Dinu, Nebaba to Lugunya, Nebaba Sivanga, Nabala Bachari Mukomera, Tibaba to Anamokoti Avan to Babu, Jubaba to Alamokoti Yamaji, Kuanga Baba Sanga and Kofi, the Ringe Yange, Baba Sanga and Baba Dengo is Ringe Zange, Erapo Bianga, Bamukute, Luanko Fideno, Nengo is Fananange Zange, Rakuang is it, Zaba de Muf, Nebaga Baba Sanga Nengo is Amaji, Nayinga Mumani Burunji. Ndi wali wabantu wabambaye ngueza majeze njini Ne kubanga wako lila ruji mwenu Bo, te baba kwa tako Mubala vye, valiri, anabewa, andu mwenda Naba artist ibanji Bamba ngueza majeze, ne baba rika Na efe, baja, ne baba kwa taba antu wafe Ne baba siba, kubanga Baga manti wamba dengue, ezifana neza majeze So kusinzira kupolisi ya Uganda Ono, oh, buba msanga, bala ba, wa majeze Yes, we are Majena, Majeka, Fesiga, Batemunga, Gavam Seven. Ah, ah, Faga Fe, Garinan Violent. Nanga did a tumble to go about to buy an above foot soldiers. Before long, Ugonago Jack for Kamasang. So, in Songa Jabakati de Bobiang, 
Teli mateka no mulundi no gumu. Bage zako bateka mufia. Bage zako bateka mkutia. Bakifule chikolo vero cha manji. Bakifule chintu cha abolabe nyo nyo nyo. Okwe sembele za NUP. Netu baga mamori imba. Tuke na maso no kuwagira bobi yanga. Kubanga taina masango kwe ya ziza. Na mwemwe na okuambala ovulu unge ya fe. Okwe si masango. Temori zaba no government ya msebe ni nabu. Besa sura vekwe kamufi. Habacha ni babu miria ovulu za fe. Kubanga bazikia. Mungiro kwa mbala wewe Tufi tuwe kalakasa mustairu za njauru Tuwe kalakasa nga tuita mnyimba Chobola mnyimba za fe bazi wera Tuwe kalakasa nga tuita mnyambala Chobola nnyambala za fe bazi wera Pajana kutuka Ukwagala Ukuchu sengiri jetutambula Oba ingiri jetusalamu mbili za fe Mwala baburu unji nyo Omu nkuba kubali ba kansalaba fe Emasaka Nga yambala nga bobi yanga yijini kwenye yambala Na agena na yemirira mumaso ka dictator mseveni Ba mkola chiba mkwata Mula ba nti uniform za feze njini ze njini Ziba tu bako Oba ziba tu wamba kwa neka mocha Ni ziba wamba Kubantu wa fabatu wa bako lana fe Ze njini ziba wamba antu Ni baba planti ingao ni bagamba fe tuliba NUP Na itu wagina mseveni Abo babi ilaba fe ni na inga baba mba za uniform za fe Nene kansala gubagula emasaka Ye yambala kulu ataya Ye ya people power Na agena na emini ya maso gama seven Abafi, awumari muzibi ya maso Awumari temulaba So, ewe wafuna bobi Ewe wafuna na bobi ya angabiyo na wina Njaka ukuwe na polite Na hechi gambe chitufu Na ndiga mendivi ya chisiru Ewe taina musango Ewe tuimiride na ye Ewe tujake na maso Nga tuwa mbale ngoeza fe Kubanga tetume nyamateka Mwibale nyo mwibale letala People power, my power When the struggle is over We shall wear the victor's crown We shall wear the victor's crown We shall wear the victor's crown When the struggle is over We shall wear the victor's crown in the new Uganda, people power, our power, NUP, Chibumba Benimu, Mbaleku Ideluga, Nusoga, Mbaleku Idelusogo, Yari Dani Ngobi, Mweba Renyo, Mweba Idelala. Thank you very much for the afternoon. God bless you.